are looking at an American surfer. At the time of recording this, she has just come third in the 2022 Billabong Pipe Masters. It is none other than Lakey Peterson. So Anna, I was thinking about doing this a little bit differently. So if we watch her surf, it's a really decent turn, nice bottom turn, great setup. Um, the, the question that I'm pondering here, if I re reverse all that surfing, what makes a good surfer? In other words, what separates the intermediate from the advanced mm. surfer? And for me, it's the lines that people draw. Yeah. So generally, an intermediate is going to surf the middle of the way and they've got to race and then maybe do a cutback. But an advanced surfer is going to go down and top. And the really good surfers are going to do the figure eights. Yeah. Okay. So it's more about the lines that you take. Now, over and above the lines that you take, if you lose any speed through a turn, all right, you're not quite doing the turn right. So but hang on a minute. So if you lose any speed through a turn, you're not doing the turn quite right. Because you see a lot of turns where people really hack into it and they almost come to a standstill. Well, if, if, okay, if you stand on your surfboard, your board's going to have the maximum amount of drag and friction on it, so it's going to lose speed. Okay. But if you're turning, your board's on rail, there's less friction, your board should actually accelerate through turns. So if you're not turning properly, your board's slowing down. You're not doing the right turn for the right section. Okay. Does that make some yeah, sense? Yeah, 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 it does make okay. sense. Okay, so if, if we go back to here yeah, where she's just taken off, there's two guys in the way, so a bit of an awkward section. So ideally she's not taking the line that she mm -hmm. wants. But on the bottom turn, right there, oh. do you see the board accelerate? Yeah. Okay, so even though the guys were in the way, she's employing really good techniques. She's leaning over the rail, which is fantastic. There's a really good section ahead. She oh. gets the arm up, she Shh, bangs it. And really good flow, really good speed out of the turn. And I like the way she's already looking and lining up the next section. Mm. Okay. So as she progresses on, she goes into a beautiful bottom turn. There's the acceleration. Now, remember I spoke about the figure eight surfing. Yeah. Okay, so on her bottom turn, she then twists. Oh. Did you see how far back oh. she pulls that turn? So basically, she, she came in on that bottom turn, and there's that big figure eight that she's doing. Yeah. All right, so that is honestly the underlying factor in surfing that separates intermediates or higher intermediates and then the advanced people. It's the level of commitment to the turns. And look at where she's looking. It's crazy. Right back at the foam. Yeah. So I remember on a previous video analysis, we saw that Dane Reynolds actually does a turn and like goes back to the foam, yeah. back to the energy. That allows surfers to relax because the wave helps them generate speed. Yeah. Whereas anybody who's racing onto the shoulder, they got to kind of keep using their body to generate speed. And that's when surfing starts looking a little bit uncoordinated and a bit messy. Yeah. Can, can, I, can, can I point something out here? I know, yeah. I, I know that normally um, that you do everything here, but there's one thing which, which we've been working on with my surfing at the moment, and Clay calls it that I'm surfing left to right, where if we were to look at this, if I was surfing now, whereas Lakey's arms are in this vertical line, what you'll notice with a lot of, so this is myself and a lot of the other intermediates, is their hands will be going across. And it makes such a big difference. It looks so much better when you, when okay, you so, the way so that Lakey's doing it. If you think about this, Ant, um, an aeroplane on the runway of a tarmac is in 2D. Yeah. So when the aeroplane turns on the tarmac, part of the front wheel turns and, and it almost does a bit of a twist turn. Yeah. Okay. But when the aeroplane takes off, sorry, the, on the runway, the aeroplane's in 1D. Then yep. it takes off, it goes to 2D. But when it wants to turn, it turns in the third dimension where it banks. Yeah. Okay. And it almost gets a bit weightless. So if you look at, look at Lakey's board. So she's on rail. Yep. Okay. And then look at how on rail she is there. So if you like her board is, is like if you, if you imagine that the sea is flat, she, her board's at like 90 degrees to the yeah. ocean. So if she didn't have the speed, she would fall. Yeah. Okay. Where most people, if they don't have the speed, they're still standing on their board. 
Yeah. So when most people turn and they're passing back foot pressure, they stall the board and the board loses speed. But right now when Lakey applies a bit of back foot pressure, the board actually turns itself over there and lends itself to going downhill and down the wave. Yeah. You see the big points of differences? Yeah. So, yeah, remarkable turn. Absolutely love it. And the looking back at the foam is, yeah. is, is crazy. Which, which, which is another thing as well. I'm just going to, I'm going to jump in a few times here uh, with the intermediate surfers is that they don't look back at the foam on the turns. And so they end up either cutting their turns short or they just come straight down the face. And one of the things you were trying to drill into me at the, at the wave pool was every time I came down straight, my board wasn't fitting and I'd end up nose diving. Whereas if I looked back at the foam and almost turned back on the wave. Well, simple analogy. If you, if you try to make your board go nose to the beach on a smaller wave, it won't fit. But mm. turn your board sideways and it fits really easy. Yeah. So it makes sense that if the wave gets steeper, you, you have to commit to a bigger turn to make the board fit. Yeah. Now, a lot of people are scared to commit to the bigger turn. And what happens is when they go for a, a half-hearted turn, they nosedive. And then they're like, oh, in the back of their mind, oh, I just went for a really big turn, but they didn't commit. And the guy nosedived. So I, I can't do that type of surfing. You actually got to commit further. Yeah. And then you can do that type of surfing. So check oh, this, this out. On the backhand, no? This is the backhand. She comes from behind the foam ball, yeah. which is which is really good reading. Slightly bigger wave as well. Look at the twist in where she's oh. looking and right <laughs> back to the foam ball. No, she's actually in the foam there. Yeah, and then look at this. This is very Dane Reynolds where she fades back. Yeah. Staying on the foam ball. She's actually looking for the steeper part of the wave. So, leans into the turn. Look at the coffee cup hand. Remember the, the arm up for the lightness? Yeah. Helping on the rotation. And then old mate just does not want to get out of the way. And she, oh. upside down, okay, look at where the board is, look at where her head is. Yeah. Okay, now most intermediate surfers, they would be standing up straight and their head would be up there somewhere. Look at the difference in that. Yeah. So her swing weight through the turn is, oh, she, she's just going to accelerate through this turn and the board's just going to be so fast and she's throwing buckets, look at that. <sighs> Absolutely incredible. I almost want to leave that there. Okay, so, yeah, because there's so much that we could take away, but let's, let me just get to a good sort of freeze frame. Let's, let's, just, let's just take a moment to absorb that bit there while you give us, if we were to go out surfing in a minute or next time we're going out in the water, what is the one thing that we can take away from Lakey that we can apply to our surfing that's going to help us become a better surfer? I say to people, don't stand on your board. Like, don't physically stand on it and try to turn. It's not designed for that. Yeah. Think of that aeroplane where it leans over. So the more inverted you are, the easier it is to throw your board around. In actual fact, the, the lip is hitting the bottom of her board, helping her to bring the board around. Her weight is falling down the wave, helping her bring the board around. So for her to do that turn, it's almost like it's a lot more effortless than someone standing on that board. Yeah. They have to push really hard to turn it. They're almost pushing against the water of the wave. It almost seems counterintuitive. Yes. That you need to be almost more off balance. To so, have control. Yeah, which, which is really weird. So let me bring us back up full screen. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you do also hit that notification bell so that you get uh, notified when the next video comes out. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't done so yet, make sure that you head over to onme.co, download your free four-week program, and we'll see you in the next episode of Coach's Eye.